Hey everybody, how are you doing? It's Michael from the Recover8 team, back with more practical data solutions and I very much hope you have enjoyed our previous episodes. Now, today we're going to focus on the topic blue screen of death. So yes, we're going to talk about Windows and we're going to cover some workable solutions on how you can get back your missing data. Let's see what we've got to show you. Blue screens, the nightmare of the system administrators. Usually you get a nice blue background with a stop code and probably a sad face and some information about what could have possibly caused this condition of the operating system. Like invalid data access trap or NTFS file system error or NMI hardware failure, data bus error. They can be so many, so different. And that obviously indicates a serious issue with your Windows operating system. There's even some good news though. If you encounter a blue screen of death, it's not too likely that there's a necessarily a hardware problem. So chances are that you're still going to be accessing your data. But of course, there are some conditions where this could be a little problematic. Once a blue screen appears, you might be asked to reboot manually your computer or this is automatically going to happen. And after that, there's going to be a check disk automatically running or you might be asked to restore some older version of a software. And once all that is done, you can still work normally on your computer again. In order to offer a solution, we need to well understand what kind of thing has brought the problem. So let's talk about the most common scenarios when you're getting a blue screen. Outdated Windows or problematic Windows updates. You should always check your PC for Windows Update. It's not necessary to do updates every day, but it's highly recommended that you keep your Windows version up to date. Also, occasionally we get some messed up Windows updates, which leads to blue screens. And in other words, when the Windows update doesn't go correctly or something breaks during the installation, yes, it's very likely that you're going to get a blue screen. Damaged setup files are the next suspect. There are times when the downloaded setup files are not able to be verified and also they can be corrupted during the download, during unexpected interruption of the connectivity or in case your hard drive has bad sectors. And sometimes this can cause errors during the installation, which are resulting into a blue screen. One of the totally most common reasons for blue screens Drivers. Yes, everybody's a little scared about updating drivers, so yes, indeed, a driver update may lead to a blue screen or a more functioning all driver and also bring you a blue screen, so be extra careful with drivers and always verify where you download them from and are they the right driver you're supposed to install. Another very common generator of blue screens, hardware, RAM, hard drives, motherboard, well, if any of these components is for some reason malfunctioning, yes, it's very likely that this confuses the operating system, it's going to crash and the end result is going to be the blue screen. So how to fix all that or at least to reduce the impacts? We're here to help with some ideas. First thing we're going to try to turn off the automatic restart. Very frequently the Windows automatic restart option is set by default and as soon as Windows 10 gets a blue screen, you're going to see a reboot. But Wait, if you reboot, you will never see the actual error code. And to us, that's the important part because based on the error code, you can figure out whether that's a software problem or a hardware issue. So one of the first things we're going to do is to disable the automatic restart in the event of a blue screen. Right click on this PC in Windows 10 and head over to Properties. Choose Advanced System Settings. Hit on the Settings tab and select Startup and Recovery. Uncheck the automatically restart option and hit OK to confirm. That's going to give you the advantage of understanding better what the actual cause of the blue screen is. Now, let's go further with some more ideas. One other thing you could perform after you definitely know it's a software problem is to try to uninstall some of the applications or some of the latest updates. Here's an example of what we can do. Start menu. Head over to Settings for your PC. Now, go to the Apps option and Apps and Features and begin selecting the apps and the programs that were installed lately. Select Uninstall, confirm that they're gone and try to stress your computer. Could be that you've just fixed the problem. As already mentioned, faulty setup files could be the culprit, so we recommend you to re-download the upgrade or 
the setup files. And first of all, you need to get rid of the old ones. We can do that with the disk cleanup. Firstly, click the start button, on the start menu. Look for the disk cleanup option, open. When you choose the drive, select C or the location where your downloads folder is appearing. And after that, select cleanup system files. From the options in the dialog box, check the box next to temporary Windows installation files, click OK and it will delete the upgrade files. Now you can download them again. Another thing that can help with fixing the blue screen of death is removing unnecessary additional hardware. USB drives, additional USB based mice or new Bluetooth devices you have just installed. Take them out and check the condition afterwards. So far so good, we've learned a few easy steps of how we can possibly avoid further blue screens, but if you keep on getting them or if your data is already totally inaccessible, most likely the situation is serious enough so that we need to bring in recover it. Now, today we're going to use one very special mode, which is the bootable mode of the app, which is letting you access your drives without being dependent on the operating system and I'll show you how to do that in a few easy steps. Now, the things that you're going to need, another working computer or a laptop, a blank USB or potentially CD or DVD drive and connection to the computer. Basically, you need to go physically and plug the USB and boot from that on your affected computer. Let's get started. First, you need to recover it on your computer. Launch it, then select recover from crash computer and then click on the start button at the right bottom part of the screen. Now, create a bootable media. And to do this, use an empty USB drive. Make sure that the empty drive is connected to the working computer and can be recognized and hit the start button. On the next screen, you can choose the mode to create the bootable media. And after you're done, hit the create button. All right, takes a few minutes and now you have a bootable drive. So let's move on to the affected computer, plug the USB drive and let's boot from it. Depending on the computer, you might have to go to the BIOS and select the priority boot device or sometimes using the F keys like F11 or F12, you might be able to select the bootable device during the power on self test. Then make sure to select the USB drive as a boot device and you can follow the procedure, which is pretty simple. You can choose the hard drive and you can select hard data copy or data recovery as you need it. You can do that, assuming that your current hardware is fine and all the files are readable. If you choose data recovery, then you have to select the disk from where the recovery is needed. It's gonna scan the drive and once done, you can preview the data and recover. And that's it for today, guys. I don't know about you, but since a long time, I'm not really afraid of blue screens. You know? First of all, we know some ways how to fix or eliminate them. And on the other side, we know that Recover It is always here in case we need to recover some data. So I guess we're all set. And I very much hope that this tutorial was helpful to you and you've learned a lot today. If that's the case, then give us a like. If you have any follow-up question, feel free to comment below and subscribe to the channel for more practical data solutions. I'm Michael and I'm looking forward to see you in the next episode. Bye. <music>